This award is for Nancy Landon Casabon Baker, who served her state of Kansas and the country as a whole for 18 great years in the United States Senate. Nancy, I deem it a personal privilege to present to you the 1997 Harry S. Truman Good Neighbor Award on behalf of this foundation. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Pacelli. I'm very honored to receive the Harry S. Truman Good Neighbor Award. I'm particularly appreciative of so many good friends who have come here this noon. And I realize some have to get back to work. And so I would just like to offer a few observations. As a Republican, of course, I remember well when Vice President Truman had to assume the presidency. And I can remember many Republicans rolling their eyes and thinking, oh my goodness, what has this country come to? I suppose as with time, it's true for, for everyone, but we all now remember President Truman for the enormous courage that he exhibited and the strength of character. And those are two characteristics, it seems to me, character and conviction and courage, and courage in one's convictions, that are important for us all, but particularly important for a president. And two examples, it seems to me, that come to mind regarding Harry Truman. First, in conviction, whether one agreed or not, with a strategy that uh, Douglas MacArthur, as commander, was using in the Korean War. I firmly believe that as president, Harry Truman was correct in firing General MacArthur. As commander in chief, it was his responsibility to do so. Not a popular position at all. I can well remember hearing Douglas MacArthur give his speech on television before the joint session of Congress. I was at the University of Kansas at the time. And everybody was disappointed. It was a very dramatic speech. And yet, President Truman, with, I'm sure, a great deal of concern, and one that he had thought through for some time, was comfortable with the decision he had made. And it was a courageous decision to make. The other, perhaps, is, a, is an example I remember. It may be anecdotal, but I've certainly read it several times, that I think is illustrative of character that made, certainly, Harry Truman very comfortable with himself. He knew where he was from. He cared deeply about his roots. He was loyal to his friends and probably could be just as feisty as the next one. But he was comfortable with who he was, and he cared a great deal about those friendships and his roots. And supposedly when he was asked after he left the president's office, what would be the first thing he'd do? And he said, I'm going to carry the bags to the attic. <laughs> well, how many of us have gotten home and said we've got to first take the bags to the attic? Of course, today there are not very many attics. <laughs> And just as when he made the decision he did as Commander-in-Chief to fire General MacArthur, today we would poll the public 15 times every 20 minutes, probably, to see what would be the best decision to make. And it would depend on how the question would be asked and what at the moment might seem the best decision to make. You cannot provide leadership by simply going with the prevailing wind. And a responsibility of a president is to stand forward with convictions, and sometimes we would agree and sometimes certainly disagree, but the convictions that mean that at that moment, that's the best judgment that can be brought to bear. I think when we look at leadership today, each and every one here in this room is a leader. We all have a time and place to provide leadership. And I think more than anything today in government, we need those who are willing to stand up with the courage of their convictions and provide that leadership. 
and I am very grateful to be an honor member of the group. I looked at Howard's speech that he gave in 1989, and I thought, well, I ought to just give it again. <laughs> it was a wonderful speech on foreign policy and the president's role and the Congress's role in foreign policy. But I just thought I would offer some observations on leadership, which seem to me timely today, as we are, we perhaps are uncertain about what roles we have to bear. And it was being comfortable in wherever we are, willing to step forward with the courage of our convictions. Certainly, I believe Harry Truman was someone who exemplified that to the finest degree. Thank you very much.